Warning, warning, rumor incoming. Triple M Breakfast Rumor Mill. Switch and save on car service and repairs. Call 1300 Auto Masters. You won't ever know. Photo bombers text in. Yeah. <laughs> Morning, guys. I witnessed something really awkward at the Starlight game on Thursday night, mm. Fremantle v Geelong. Yeah. Selby Lestier was donating a $13,000 cheque to Starlight Foundation and asked okay. a passerby to take a photo with the crew with the big cheque. Yeah, sure. Moments later, it became a little bit concerning when the person with the camera joined in to take a selfie. Right. There's a little bit of confusion but former Fremantle player Tom Sheridan <laughs> thought he was asked <laughs> to be in the photo. Oh, or quite oh. Turns out he was oh, asked to take, take the photo. The photo. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a bit awkward, isn't it? One triple three five three. <laughs> we should try and get a hold Tommy of Tommy Sheridan. Yeah. What's he done there? <laughs> He's trying mate, to get a Mate, snap. we want you to take it, yes. not to be in it. Um, I hope this is not right. So no injection has been in touch. Yeah. It says, guys, thought you'd be interested to know, I've got a few friends in the community of those providing uh, assistance and also providing the vaccinations. Yeah. And the word floating through those who administer the doses is that the anti-vaxxers are deliberately getting online, booking appointments, and then obviously not turning up. Yeah. And it's their way of protesting what's taking place. So, so according to No Injection, people are going online. Anyone can go online to book their appointment, right? I did. Dave did. Yeah. Yep. You did. Um, yeah, they go online. They book their appointment. Now, do you have to give your Medicare number? Yes. Yeah. So how would they be able to get around that? Would they make a fake Medicare number or no, a fake like... name? Because I or maybe thought... they're just not turning up as themselves Yeah. in yeah. process. Well, I guess there's that as well. But surely you only get one or two warnings at that and then they... Start fining, but that would be annoying because I know I, when I spoke to somebody yesterday who spent half the day on the phone trying to rush through an appointment because they needed to get on, yeah. And there was no, no appointments today, none tomorrow, none the next day, none the next day. If it's true what no injection tells us and that the anti vaxxers are deliberately getting on booking appointments and they're not showing, mm. that is bad, bad form. We've put a uh, request in from the health department just to get confirmation. We're yet to hear back. I've got a tweet in front of me right now from Dr. Sharma, who's a GP. He's saying 20% of bookings not turning up for Pfizer is terrible. Once the vial is open, it must be used within go. a narrow window of time or all remaining doses are thrown out. Yeah. Uh, we must learn why people aren't turning up yeah, with the suggestion going. that we're just talking about. We cannot waste it. It's an insult to those who are desperate to get their hands on one. So is no injection on the right track here? It sounds is, like Is this really happening? Are people deliberately making bookings and they're not turning up as a way of, if you like, protesting about the mm. vaccination rollout? Because if that is what is happening, well, that's near on unacceptable. Well, whatever your personal view or opinion on yeah. the vaccinations, it's clear from what's being said around Australia and around the world yeah. that our only way of moving forward is to get vaccinated. Well, there's something fishy going on because those who are hesitant to get the jab mm. aren't making bookings and turning up, mm. not turning up. There, there's, there's not there's yes. not compulsory, so they're yes. just not making a booking. Correct. So to go out of your way to make a booking... And not turn up. And not turn up. Obviously, there's some you know bits and pieces. Oh, my car broke down. You get that along the way with yes. everything. But to but have not such 20%. a large number, something sinister is yeah. going on, I would have thought. Well, we reached out to the health, the WA Health Department today um, and they've said that while they're still having to go through data because it's only earlier in the week, there's no way of confirming if appointments are being booked specifically by anti-vaxxers. But I guess they will be looking into no-shows around clinics such as Claremont, uh, Joondalup and the soon-to-be-open super clinic mm. in the CBD. All right. Well, the health department might not be able to confirm it, but we might be able to confirm it with you. Not, hey, this one came in off a text line. No, yeah. Triple eight double five nine two nine. Moving homes is text in. We all love our la- we all love our local bakery and love a good baker. Rumor has it, my favourite baker might be moving home from Richmond. Yeah. Oh, oh no. now Premiership player baker, two time Premiership oh. player. Oh, yeah. Liam Baker, mm. former Waffle Subiaco player, yeah, yes, good has player. purchased a house. Well, here we go. Very, very close. It's not Ross Lyon's old house, is it? To Lath Lane. Has he? Has he really? Take that as fact. Okay. Well, would he fit in at West Coast? Do you think? Is there room on the list for oh, him? Liam Baker, he's a good player. There's room mm. for both clubs with him. All right. So Liam Baker. To Liam West Baker's Coast purchased a house near Lath Lane. 
It's oh, a, it, okay. it is this time of the year the real the AFL real estate rumours do crank up. But <laughs> yes, hey, we love them, don't oh, we? I, I, I think he's saying Richmond, but yeah. time will tell. Jenna's got one. <laughs> uh, broken phones written in. Mm. Hey guys, I don't know if you're aware, but Nick Nat celebrating mm. his 200th win of with a win. Weekend, yeah. With a win, his game with a win has another broken phone. So what's happened? He smashed it. How do we know that? Smashed is there a photo it. of it or something? There is a photo that's been sent in to uh, Rumour Mill at triplempirth.com.au and mm. you can as well. Mm. And it's a screenshot of uh, Nick Nat using what appears to be Snapchat. Right, right. Uh, and it's, yeah, the screen is just decimated again. Jeez. Like it was like it was last year. You'd think Nick Nat would be. Put it well, on the privacy screen. R- Rory O'Brien obviously sent the tweets out by accident last year yeah. uh, and he mm. played Rory on the weekend. So mm. maybe he could have returned the favour well, and given him. Do you know Nick gave him a Samsung. He, uh, did it, not that he didn't buy him an Apple. Go on, Nick. Is that right? <laughs> Interesting.